Hey guys, and welcome to this video on Lilith in the first house. If you have Lilith in your first house, in your natal chart in astrology, this video is for you. So let's just recap the meaning of Lilith in the astrology chart, and then we'll get into what it means in the first house. So Lilith, Black Moon Lilith is not a planet. It's not an asteroid. It is a point in space. It's technically a lunar apogee and it's measured by the distance. Okay, the distance between the moon and the earth. And so because the moon and the earth have an elliptical orbit, this creates a point in space that ends up moving. And whatever sign it is in, in relationship to the earth, from the earth's perspective, because that's how we do geocentric astrology. There's also something called heliocentric, but that's for a different video. So this is what creates that point in space. Because it is a point in space, it is not going to really be as strong as a planet. But I do feel that many people um, nowadays are going to have Lilith type themes in their life just because of where we are in relationship in, in the relationship with men and women. So Lilith, just to recap, was cast out of the Garden of Eden. She was the true first lady. She was cast out of the Garden of Eden for not submitting to Adam. And this is so fascinating and so interesting, just the way the story is told. Um, because all she wanted to do was be on top. And all she wanted was the same thing he wanted. But for some reason, her not doing what he wanted got her kicked out of the Garden of Eden. And there are many other variations on the story on how she was punished for that. But that's kind of the story. She was a bad woman. She didn't submit to her man and she was punished. And so um, when you have Lilith in the first house, the first house in astrology represents your identity, your body, your physical body. The way that you are, um, it is the, the first house is where our rising sign starts, right? Our rising sign starts the first house in our chart. So any planets or points that you have in your first house, the closer they are to the ascendant, the rising by degree, the more infused that planetary theme is going to be into your personality. So if you have Lilith conjunct your rising, you are going to have Lilith type themes show up in your life. So this is going to be like feeling kicked out of things, feeling not welcome for honoring your own desires, um, not being socially acceptable in some way, uh, not being allowed to express your sexuality, right? Because that really is kind of the core of what Lilith stands for is she wanted to and she wasn't supposed to. So you could be the kind of person with Lilith in the first house who does things you're not supposed to, who likes things you're not supposed to, who likes things that conservative people don't approve of. Okay, now this doesn't mean that like you have to be some like seedy dark person, you know? Lilith doesn't necessarily mean that. It just means not accepted. Wherever we have Lilith by house in our chart is where people will reject us for expressing that way of being. And it can be sexual or it cannot be. So in this case, with the first house, it's going to be the, what, the things you want to do with your life, people might not accept. The way that you are, the way that you identify, people might not accept. Whether that be you know related to gender or any other way. You may have been born into a family who identifies as one kind of a person. You are a totally different kind of person. Um, you could be in a, you know, any other kind of group like that where you're supposed to be this way and you say, no, I don't, I don't want to be this way. I want to be that way. Another way that Lilith can show up in the first house is some kind of um, rejection by other people of your own physical body. So in the most extreme case, this could be something like, um, I don't know, you have a, a obvious uh, birth defect on your face or you have a cleft palate or um, this can also show up with Chiron in the first, but with Lilith, it's going to be people reject you for it. Whereas with Chiron, we reject ourselves for it. Um, so basically, 
Again, Lilith in the first house, you can be punished or shunned for being who you are. And so what happens with our Lilith is that we have a couple different ways of responding to that wound, to that situation. One is we say, okay, and sometimes we go through these as phases. We say, okay, I'm never going to do that again. If, if people are going to reject me for who I am, I'm just never going to be who I am. And we can sort of shut that that area of life down. Now, in the case of the first house, that's going to be your identity, who you are, what you believe in, what you want to do with your life. The first house, I think of the first house is like major life changes because whenever we have planets transiting our first house, that's when we're going to have you know, we're going to make big changes to our lives. We're going to have to relearn who we are. Um, and so you can have major life changes that people don't like get it. You know, people don't get it and people might never get it, but it's part of who you are. You might feel like an outsider or an outcast because perhaps the people around you just don't really understand what you need to do with your life or what you want to do with your life. Um, again, this is, can also show up as like the physical body. Like sometimes it can manifest as like body love issues or being shamed for like, um, I, I just think of like someone who maybe as a teenager, um, like developed really early and then got made fun of for it and then felt really ashamed or the opposite, you know, where they didn't and they were made fun of for that. And it just became like a complex, you know, a thing that, that person could internalize. So you could internalize some kind of body shame or body um, rejection, right? Because we're, again, wherever we have Lilith, people are going to reject that from us. Um, and then I'm just looking at my notes here. You can feel like you don't belong. This is probably the most significant emotional part of this placement. Lilith in the first house, you can feel just like you do not belong everywhere you are. And the way to heal this placement is to accept yourself and to perhaps also accept that you will never belong anywhere and no one ever really does. Um, you know, accept that like you're going to be weird to these people in this way and you're going to be weird to these people in that other way and that it doesn't mean anything bad about you. So... For Lilith in the first house, there really is a need to, for healing this placement to accept yourself, to accept what you want to do with your life as okay. And you might have to work a little harder for that acceptance because it's not given to you. It's not granted to you. Perhaps you didn't have parents who told you you could be whatever you wanted. You know, perhaps they had some certain life path carved out for you and you had to go against that and fight and say, no, I'm not doing that with my life. Or, you know, several other things related to your identity and other people not accepting that. So, um, I think that's everything I have for Lilith in the first house. If you haven't seen the Lilith through the signs, be sure to go check those videos out after this. And I am currently doing a reading sale through the 27th for my one hour readings. They are $27 off. So go ahead and click the link below in the description if you want to book with me. And I will see you all in the next video.